You know this channel always brings you the best web development tutorials and insights. But let me ask you, are these skills even worth learning in 2025? We've all heard it. Web development is dying. AI builds websites in seconds, no-code tools are everywhere, and companies are cutting dev jobs. So is web development really dead, or just evolving into something bigger? Stick around, because what I'm about to share could completely change the way you look at your career. But before we dive deeper, let's talk about something every developer, beginner or pro, needs a solid domain and hosting. Because whether AI builds your site in seconds or you hand code every line, at the end of the day, you still need to put it online. That's where Spaceship.com comes in. I've used countless providers over the years, buying multiple domains and hosting for clients. And honestly, I've never seen features as good at prices this affordable anywhere else. And here's the thing, Spaceship.com do a just stop at domains and hosting. They've got SSL certificates, email hosting, website builders, VPS, and dedicated servers if you need more power, and even one-click WordPress installs. Basically, whether you're just starting your portfolio or running a business-level project, they have a plan that fits. For example, I once had a client who was on a super tight budget but needed a professional-looking site for their small business. Normally, that would mean cutting corners. But with Spaceship.com, I was able to get them a domain, SSL, and hosting for less than the cost of dinner. And the site looked just as professional as competitors spending hundreds.spaceship.com. Or take a student I mentored who was learning web development. Instead of just pushing projects to GitHub, I helped them grab a cheap .dev domain on Spaceship.com. Imagine the difference when they applied for jobs. Instead of check my GitHub repo, they sent recruiters a real live link to their name.dev. That instantly set them apart. And the best part? The dashboard is clean, modern, and not overloaded with endless upsells like some platforms. You can literally set things up in minutes and focus on building instead of fighting with settings. So, if you've been putting off creating your portfolio, launching your first app, or even setting up a side hustle online, this is your chance. I'll leave my link in the description with exclusive discounts so you can grab your domain and hosting today and start building something real. All right, now let's get back to the big question. Is web development really dying or is it simply evolving into something much bigger? In 2025, AI tools like Replit AI, v0.dev, and Copilot X don't just help you. They can build entire websites and apps in minutes. Landing pages, blogs, even SaaS products, automated and ready to ship. And the layoffs are real. Meta, Shopify, IBM, thousands of developers gone. Companies are saying it straight. AI makes us more efficient. Now, put yourself in a beginner's shoes. You've been grinding JavaScript tutorials, learning React, maybe even backend frameworks. And then you see an AI push out the same thing in seconds. That fear is real. And it's driving all those headlines saying web dev is dead. And don't forget no-code platforms. Webflow, Framer, Wix Studio. Small businesses can launch polished websites without hiring anyone. So if AI can build your client project in under a minute, would you be excited or threatened? Here's the thing. This panic isn't new. Every decade, People claimed web development was finished. In the 90s, Dreamweaver launched. Everyone said, web designers are done. In the 2000s, WordPress exploded. Critics cried. No one will need developers again. In the 2010s, Wix and Squarespace let anyone drag and drop websites. Panic once again. And now in 2025, AI is the villain. But notice the pattern. Every single time, web dev didn't die. It evolved. The boring, repetitive jobs disappeared, but higher value work was created. That cycle is repeating right now. So let's be brutally honest. What's dying is not web development itself. It's basic web development. One, simple HTML or CSS landing pages. AI does it instantly. Two, WordPress or Shopify template installs. No code tools handle it. If your career plan is based on cookie-cutter sites, yes, you're in trouble. 
But if you want to solve real problems, design complex systems, or build experiences AI can't, then your future is brighter than ever. AI sounds magical, fast, cheap, easy. But what they don't tell you is the dark side. One, generic designs, everything looks the same. Users notice. Two, security risks, AI often ignores best practices. Hackers love that. Three, maintenance headaches when something breaks, AI isn't there to fix it. And last, scalability limits, try millions of users and watch your AI built app collapse. Real example, a fintech startup went 100% AI built in 2024. Within six months, they suffered a massive breach, lost millions, and had to hire senior developers just to rebuild their product. The lesson? AI is a tool, not a replacement. Think about it. Building a website isn't just about spitting out code. It's about, first, understanding a client's business goals. Second, making sure design matches brand identity. Third, thinking about user experience. And finally, planning long-term scalability. AI can generate layouts, but it can't sit with a CEO and decide which feature will make or break a startup. It can't innovate a new idea out of thin air. That requires human creativity and judgment. And here's the funny part. The better AI gets, the more valuable humans become because someone has to guide, manage, and correct it. So if basic web dev is dying, where's the future? Let's look at where the money and demand are moving. First one, AI plus developer equals superpowers developers who embrace AI are already 10 times more productive. They don't get replaced. They replace the people who refuse to adapt. SoCond, immersive web, AR or VR, Apple Vision Pro, MetaQuest, mixed reality apps. This is a frontier AI can't dominate alone. Third, Web3 and blockchain decentralized apps, crypto payments, identity systems, humans still lead. Fourth, cybersecurity AI generated code is often insecure. Skilled devs are the defense. And last but not least, complex SaaS systems AI can help with pieces, but only humans can design the architecture for scale. Let me give you a positive example too. A freelance developer I know was panicking about AI last year. Instead of quitting, he learned how to work with AI. Now he delivers websites 3x faster, charges the same price, and takes on more clients. His income went up, not down. That's the future, not replacement, but enhancement. So if you're learning web dev in 2025, here's your roadmap. First, don't get stuck only on HTML or CSS. Learn a modern framework, next.js, Svelte, Remix. Second, pick up TypeScript. It's the standard for scalable apps. Third, learn how to collaborate with AI. Use it to speed up, not replace you. Fourth, build real-world projects, SaaS tools, dashboards, AI integrations. Fifth, focus on problem solving, not just syntax. Publish your work, hosting with your own domain or GitHub, LinkedIn, even YouTube. Employers care about proof, not just certificates. This is how you future-proof your career. So, is web development dying? Absolutely not. The old, repetitive version is fading fast. The future belongs to developers who adapt, who embrace AI as a tool, and who focus on solving problems AI can't. Now I want to hear from you. Do you think AI will completely replace developers, or will humans always have the edge? Drop a comment below. I'll be reading every single one. And if you found this helpful, smash that like button, subscribe, and hit the bell icon. This channel will keep bringing you the truth about web development, its future, and how you can stay ahead of the curve.